Welcome to the ultimate Facebook ads tutorial for clothing brand. I get hundreds of DMs every single day texting me, yeah, how do I run ads for my brand? I wanna get into Facebook ads, how do I get into it? And I went on YouTube and saw there were zero good videos on how to run Facebook ads. So today I thought I'd be the one to bring it to you guys so you guys can learn and stop paying these agencies to run your ads. Make sure you guys watch until the end because I do have a giveaway that I know you guys will like. So what you will learn in today's video, why advertise your brand on Facebook, what you need before advertising, how to set up your business manager, how to create a campaign, how to test creatives, how to evaluate the results, and then how to scale the campaign. So let's dive into why you should even advertise your brand on Facebook. Meta has over 3.9 billion active users across their platform every single month. Now this is a huge market with endless opportunity. If you can advertise efficiently and correctly, you'll make tons of money. Facebook last year generated over $113 billion alone in ad revenue. And you're telling me that you can't get a couple hundred thousand of that? And especially now Facebook is now under Meta, you're advertising to Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, all all these platforms so there's tons and just tons of traffic you can acquire so let's talk about why i advertise on facebook so the main reason why i advertise on facebook is i advertise my clothing brand watch step and i've been doing this brand for a little over a year now and this is the business that allowed me to drop out of college and live the life i really wanted to live and i spend around like 15 to twenty thousand dollars per month on facebook ads alone for this business now obviously with your clothing brand you won't be spending this much in the beginning but it will come over time and to be honest being able to advertise for my clothing brand is what made me the most money so that's one reason why i advertise on facebook Facebook. The second reason why I advertise on Facebook is because I advertise for my education company. I run the number one education company for clothing brands in the entire world. And I've taught others inside on how to run and scale their clothing brands, especially with paid ads. For example, like my student Tidon, who went from having unprofitable ads working with an agency to finally learning how to run ads with us and being able to run his own ads profitably and made $3,000 in just a few days of running his ads. So you can see Facebook ads are pretty powerful. I use them in pretty much all my businesses and my students as well use them in their businesses. I even use it to advertise for the education company. But enough of that, let's move on to the next module. So what you need before advertising. And the first thing you're gonna need is a winning product. Having a really good winning product is super important. Some people think ads alone can make them lots of money, but that's just not true if the product isn't great. Ads just make the good stuff you're already selling even more popular. So if you're already selling things without ads, you can use ads to help you scale up even more. Basically meaning ads only amplify what's already working. And a lot of people overlook these things because they just think if you're pouring money into ads, you're gonna get sales. But in reality, you need to have a winning product in the beginning. The next thing you need before running advertisements is having a convert website. This is a website that convinces people to buy your stuff when you're running these ads. When people click on your Facebook ads and end up on your website, it's like they're walking into your shop. So your website needs to be set up the best way possible for people to easily buy things. This includes making sure your main page, which is the landing page, and everything else on the site are top notch. So you can turn all those visitors from the ads into customers and make tons of sales. So let's talk about how to set up the business manager. I'm assuming most of you guys already have the business manager set up, which is basically just having your pixel, your Facebook page account, your business manager account, and they're very simple and take less than 10 minutes to do. If you don't know how to do that, go on YouTube after this video is over and just search up quickly how to set up the business manager. It'll take less than 10 minutes. So once you get all that set up, it's now time to create your first Facebook ad campaign. Okay, once you're in the ad manager, we're gonna go ahead and click on create campaign we're going to go to sales continue and we're going to click on manual sales campaign now this is the campaign level right here we're going to name this cbo because we're running a cbo so now for the campaign name you can name this whatever you want i'm just going to call this cbo and you'll scroll down and turn on advantage campaign budget this is going to make it a cbo basically meaning it's going to spend the budget across the entire campaign now for the daily budget i recommend no less than 50 dollars minimum per day but you can get away with 30 dollars a day for me i typically like to do 100 dollars a day to start once you do that, there's nothing else to do on this page. Just go ahead and click next. Now for this ad set, we're gonna call this winners because this is where we're gonna put all of our winning ads. So we'll scroll down over here to conversion and click on website. Performance goal should be maximized number of conversions. Pixel, this is where you're gonna click the pixels you had set up earlier. And for those of you who don't know what a pixel is, a pixel is just tracking all the customer data you guys have on there. Conversion event, we're gonna go for purchase and we'll scroll down to budget and schedule and we'll do midnight for the next day. After that, you're going to come down to Advantage Plus Audience and click Switch to Original Options. Now, the reason we do this is because we're doing broad targeting. People tell you to do interest targeting, which is like streetwear and all this stuff right here. But for the strategy I use, it's broad targeting. And this strategy has been crushing it for me and others. With broad targeting, you're able to let Facebook's AI find better customer options for you than just niching it down with interest. And this is why we use broad targeting because interest targeting will get you sales, but this is very short-term sales. Broad targeting, that campaign can last forever and keep getting you new people and new sales. For placements, we leave Advantage Plus placements on and we'll go ahead and click on next. So here's where you're gonna put your winning ads. So for me, I'll put ad number one, select your Instagram account and all that. Once you do that, you're gonna click on manual upload. 
For me, I'm gonna do a single image or video, add media. We'll go ahead and add an image. We'll go ahead and just click next, turn off allow enhancements and just click done. Okay, now we have our ad that's on. This is what the ad is gonna look like on Instagram and Facebook and et cetera. Here in the primary text, we'll put our winning copy. For me, I just like to do buy once, wear forever. For the headline, I like to just do the product name or or the amount I've sold. So I like to do, for example, 20,000 plus sold. Description, you're always gonna leave this blank, never put a description. Optimize text per person, we're gonna uncheck this. Now, for the call to action, we like to do shop now, right? Because it wouldn't make sense to tell somebody to learn more. You want them to shop. Next, you'll go ahead and send them to your website. For me personally, I like to send them to a collections page, something like this right here, this right here. We'll go ahead and copy this link and put it in the website URL section of Facebook. And boom, everything else is set up for this ad. This ad is ready to go and launch. It's that simple on how to create a campaign. It's not hard at all. It's not that complicated. We use broad targeting to make it simple and it's the most effective. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, what if I don't have any winning creatives? How do I test creatives? Well, for that, we use something called DCT ad sets to check how well our ad pictures and words are doing. These are special ads on Facebook that try out different creatives to see which one works the best for us. It's like putting a bunch of ideas into one ad and finding out which one gets the best results. So how do we do this DCT? Well, it's a simple way we run this DCT. It's called the 322 method. In each DCT, we try out three different pictures or videos. Never mix photos and videos in the same DCT. We try out two headlines, one that worked before and one new idea, two primary texts, again, one that worked before and one new idea. And this will help us test out a bunch of different ad combinations and figure out which one works the best for us. So let me show you how to launch a DCT. So we're gonna go back to this campaign and we're gonna click on edit. As you guys see, this is the winner ad set we did right here. Now, hover over the three dots beside the winner and click quickly duplicate, and it's gonna make a copy. So now we're gonna name this DCT1. Everything should be the same already from the last one, but except you're gonna turn on dynamic creative. This is what makes a DCT a DCT. Now you don't have to touch anything else here from that. Now from here, you don't have to touch anything else now that you check this on, and you're gonna click on the ad below the DCT. For this, I'll also name this DCT1, and everything should be the same, but we're just gonna change the creative. So for the first DCT I wanna launch, I wanna run this picture right here with three different versions of my product. Now, this is gonna test to see which color or which version of these images is gonna do the best. So maybe the black one might do the best because it's a more popular color, or maybe the gray one, who knows? It's gonna test all three in the same ad, and it'll tell us the winner. Now we're gonna test two primary texts. So we'll add another text option here. And for this, we can put like, for me, I'm gonna try elevate your. So now we have two primary texts and we're gonna do the same thing for headline. We'll add another headline here, 5,000. Now you don't have to copy my primary text and headlines. These are just examples I'm showing you guys. So now we have our three creatives, our two primary texts and our two headlines. Now let me explain a little more how this is gonna even work. So if we click on advanced preview here, basically it's gonna run different ads with these different combinations. So we might have this creative, with this headline, uh, this text and this headline, right? And it'll try out these different texts and headlines. Or we can have this creative, it mixes with this one and keeps this one. So it's just gonna mix and match the different headlines and text and the different medias to find the best winning combination for you so you can see which one is the winner. Now, every DCT might not be a winner, it's normal. Some creatives are just not good enough to be winners. So you have to keep launching and keep testing new DCTs every single week. I would launch one to two DCTs per week until you find a winning DCT. And it's that simple to launch a DCT. So we do our creative testing and our scaling in the same campaign. This keeps the ad account clean and structured since we're just running one campaign for testing and scaling. It's not a cluttered ad account with a million testing campaigns and then one scaling campaign. This does both in the same campaign and it does it efficiently. So let's figure out how to evaluate our results and make decisions based off that. So let's look at one of my old ad accounts to see some of these results. Now, to know if you got a good result, there's two metrics you mainly want to pay attention to, and that's cost per purchase and purchase ROAS. This is going to basically tell you if your ads are profitable or not. Now, you need to figure out what your target cost per acquisition is, which is basically just cost per purchase. Let's say you have a product that's $50 and it costs $20 to make. So you have $30 left in between to acquire a customer. If you spend $20 to acquire a customer, that'll leave you with $10 profit per unit. So knowing that information, you need to figure out how much you want to make per unit. And then that's the target cost per purchase you want to go for. For me, my target cost per purchase is anywhere from $20 to $25 for my product. So right here, you see we're getting a $17 cost per purchase, which means we are profitable and we're hitting our target. This ad set as well was also hitting its target. And you can see we got a 3.92, which is basically a 4x return on ad spend. So let's talk about how to scale a campaign now. Now, obviously you don't want to be spending $50 to $100 every single day forever. You want to eventually get to that two, three, 500, even a thousand dollar a day in spend mark so you can keep printing more money. Well, 
Well, the way we do our scaling is pretty simple. So you guys can see on October 4th, we hit our target ROAS. Also, I forgot to mention to figure out your target ROAS, it's basically finding out what your break even ROAS is. To do that, there's a website called the Dropship Toolkit. And to find that, we're gonna use a website called the Dropship Toolkit. Basically here in COGS, you would put your cost of goods. So for me, it would be like $20. And then you would put your selling price. Once you do that, your break even ROAS will be right here. So our break even is a 1.6. This means in order for us to break even, we have to hit a 1.6 ROAS. Anything above that is profitable. Everything below that is not profitable. So knowing that in mind, we crushed it and we got almost a 10 ROAS this day, which means our ads are profitable and we need to scale. Now, in order to make sure you can really scale, you wanna look at the three days previous before that. So we'll look at these three days right here. We'll look at these three days up until the fourth. So from the fourth to the second, this is three day time frame, And you guys can see we're still profitable, right? This is above our 1.6 target ROAS. So if the previous three days are profitable and you're hitting your target ROAS, you want to go ahead and turn up the budget by 20%. If the last three days were not profitable and not hitting your target ROAS, you want to scale down the budget by 20%. And you'll rinse and repeat this process every single day. So on the next day, you'll look at the three previous days before that and see if you hit your target ROAS or not. If you didn't scale up or down. If you didn't scale down, if you did scale up and you'll look at this every single day, just look at the previous three days every single day and keep scaling up and down depending on that decision. Now, a question I know you guys may have is how do you know if a DCT isn't gonna be a winner? So for DCTs, if after three days that DCT is not hitting your target ROAS or isn't getting any spend at all, like you could see this one had $2 in spend. So this DCT is not getting any spend after three days and it's definitely not hitting our target ROAS. You guys see we got zero. Then we would kill these DCTs and turn them off. Typically, I like to run my DCTs for seven days, but three days is enough if it's tanking badly. But if a DCT is profitable, you wanna go ahead and figure out which creative that was by going over here to this and clicking on image video and slideshow. And it'll tell you right here in the ROAS section which creative did the best. If it's profitable, go ahead and get that creative and throw it in the winning ad set. For the whole point of this campaign is that you have your scaling and your testing in the same campaign so that you know if your tests are good or bad because they're competing against your winners. Your goal is to always find new winners to throw in the winning ad set. So you wanna launch a DCT every single week if your ad account is not doing good because that means you have no winners and you need to keep finding winning creatives. So just make sure you're scaling smart and not just pouring money down the drain. Use the scaling strategy of scaling up by 20% or down by 20% looking at the last three days because it is the most efficient way to scale at the time of recording this video. So stop using interest targeting, stick to the broad targeting we're talking about because this is the new way to run Facebook ads in 2024. Every clothing brand owner I know that has done this has been crushing it with it. And pretty much that's how I would launch and run my campaigns for Facebook ads. And if you thought this video was in depth for a free YouTube video, then you should see what's inside my program, Brand Discovery, where I go in depth on marketing, product creation, website development, and just so much more on just growing your brand to the next level. We are the number one clothing brand education company for a reason. So the next step is for you to go ahead and book in a call with Christian, my student success manager, for a free strategy call to evaluate your situation and see how we can help you grow your brand. This is a completely free call. You can go ahead and book it down below in the description. Christian will basically give you a whole game plan on your brand and he'll see if you're a good fit for new age wealth and brand discovery. If you're not, you're gonna walk away with tons of free information anyways after the call. So you have nothing to lose. You're pretty much only gonna gain information. The second step is to follow me on Instagram where I'm posting daily content and you can connect with me directly. And the last step is to leave a comment about what you learned in today's video because I'm going to give one random comment a one-on-one -on -one mentorship call with me to get all the help they need and all their questions answered by me personally. So that's how I run my Facebook ads and how you guys can run Facebook ads as well. And now that you know how to run Facebook ads, make sure to check out my video right here on how to market your clothing brand. And I'm talking about all the marketing strategies. Other than that, I love you all and I will see you in the next one.